AITA for cutting ex-wife's vacation short with the kids. I 40M divorced my wife 37F about 3 years ago. We have two awesome kids 6F and 4M. And I am so grateful to her for blessing me with them. We have 50-50 custody. Brief history. Quarantine hit us hard. I had started a new and stressful job in April of 2020. My ex suffers from BPD and OCPD. The lack for control and uncertainty at this time made her very difficult to live with. She was also postpartum at this time. I was getting calls 2 minutes after work asking where I was and constantly made to feel guilty for pursing any self-care, on her time. Days of the silent treatment was my norm. I called it emotional purgatory. She was a psalm at that time. I desperately tried to complete small tasks to lessen the load at home and put my dad hat on the second I walked through the door. I put the kids to bed, washed bottles, cleaned the kitchen etc. She was always focusing on what I didn't help with. I begged her to go talk to a therapist and see if medication might be appropriate. I did convince her to come to marriage counseling which we attempted for about 6 months. In those sessions, it became clear that my feelings weren't going to be heard or considered. I decided to just work on myself and my codependency. I began to work on self-esteem, setting boundaries and not questioning my reality and my feeling. The healthier I got, seemingly the worse she got, which might sound strange to some. The night it all came undone I was watching a playoff game outside on the patio. It was a Tuesday night. I had told her in advance that the game was important to me. I got the kids down and began watching the game. She came outside and asked if I could help her pick up around the house. We had someone coming to help with cleaning on Friday so she wanted to tidy up. I told her, I can't help tonight because I'm watching the game, but I could help tomorrow. She slammed the patio door, came back out while the game was in OT and unplugged the TV. I walked out of the house and finished the game on my phone. After that she asked me to go to a hotel and locked me out of the house. When I asked to come back she told me to get an apartment, which I did. A week later, she begged me to come back. I said okay but under the advice of my therapist, I was going to keep my apartment in case she changed her mind. Over the next month she became obsessed with me breaking my lease. Eventually, I had a moment where I knew I was done trying. The divorce process was messy. She faked a pregnancy and tried to prevent me from getting 50-50. The truth came out and she caved eventually. At times I considered fighting for full custody but I know the kids love their mom and it would have broken her. If you made it this far, thank you for your patience. On to the present issue. Our decree states that we alternate spring breaks. The ex took the kids out of state the last two years. She asked me in February if she could take them again this year. I agreed because I didn't have plans and I feel it's important that they see family. She told me she was driving, so I agreed to more time to allow them to safely travel. I made one request. Please do not take the children to see my mother. She has done this the last two times she traveled there. I don't talk to my mother because she stole 60k from my grandmother, among other things, and refused to even acknowledge her fault. I now care for my grandmother and moved her here. This morning my daughter informed me that they are flying, not driving and that X has planned a visit with my mother and the kids. Since the divorce, there has been a very consistent pattern of her intentionally disregarding simple and reasonable requests. I'll spare you other examples. The point is I'm fed up. She is flying tomorrow. I asked her to change her flight and return the children to me by Wednesday at 5 p.m. This cuts her trip short three days, but follows the order. So I feel a bit guilty because I know the children will be disappointed. Logically and based off history, I know this is the only thing she responds to and I'm sick of being taken advantage of. What are your thoughts? I'm open to hearing that I'm being unreasonable if you feel that's the case. I desperately want to just do what's best for the kids, but this is often in conflict with enabling toxic behavior and her disregarding simple boundary. Thank you for taking the time to read this, praying gesture.